Hello. Don't mind me walking out. Yeah. Hello. And thanks for watching. Uh, today's intro music from the FF6 OC Remax album. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which, if you're not familiar, is a collection of game remixes done by just people that like the games and like the music. Um, in particular, I think the Final Fantasy VI album had a Kickstarter, um, so they raised a lot of money, got people like Danny Baranowski involved, um, and just incredible interpretations of the soundtrack to a game that is, for me personally, out there with Morrowind. So yeah, um, check it out, ocremix.org. All kinds of, you know, royalty-free music there that the community made. Um, and yeah, I'm always looking for some copyright music, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to start the stream off with. Get the sound test going, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed some really wicked guitar. I do every single time. Um, interestingly, so starting off, the, starting off the stream, just do the usual quick run-through of the issues. Uh, somebody on Discord, uh, the manufacturer 87 possibly a fellow Fear Factory fan, um, has posted a couple times, actually, on my channel on the OpenMW Discord, um, some reshade packs that they have produced, and I wonder if it's worth including those on the site. I don't use reshade. I'm not sure if it's Windows only. Um, personally, it's not really something I go for, but I definitely understand why people like to use it. Um, we'll continue with the issue cleanup, the big one being that I want to handle being the Ramiros mods, and we'll put in some redirects. Um, links to the new stuff. <clears throat> then also, importantly, that needs to be handled. Um, glass glow set, graphical herbalism compatibility. Um, and then further to the sort of the topic of issue cleanup, probably worth going into GitLab and making sure that issues that I solved yesterday are properly, properly annotated and closed. Um, and we don't let those tickets pile up. That kind of stuff is not my favorite kind of work. Um, I do definitely appreciate getting issues and problem reports. Um, you know, I just like coding more than <laughs> paperwork. Um, stream link on the website, probably going to be the first thing I do. I think I'll put it under the, I decided, uh, had a shower thought, um, you know, it would belong on the subscribe page and for people, you know, who click that would probably want to see something like this. Um, action camera swap bug report. Turns out we may have a compatibility problem with Solta's stuff. Um, so we'll probably look at that today, get some Lua in, um, Lua edition backlog probably should be, I'm just going to actually move this, there's quite a bit there, but I'm going to put that actually just in the future, um, trying to keep the list for the stream, like, reasonable. It would be really nice, 100%, right? 100% uh, a list that's more than one item deep. Um, so I want to try to do, uh, and here we go, Sunday is the day, I want to try to have shorter, more finishable lists, you know, of things that need to get done, but that we can reasonably get done in two hours. And this list is still too big, um, but I did, as you may have noticed, you know, chuck some of the stuff that was up there uh, down into the to-do list. So anyway, going back up here, um, yeah, this is another one. <laughs> Changes basically to all my Lua mods. Can the readmes be better? Yeah, of course they could. Um, spell sounds, going to chuck that into the backlog. Let's see here. Pylons patch we could reasonably do here. Um, this, I think, falls under the issue tracking. Refile that. This definitely I'm doing. I wanted to do it yesterday. Um, this is really just changing a link. No big deal. And then CI builds also should be pretty easy. GitLab CI is pretty easy to work with. Um, I could basically cargo cult a lot of the patterns I'm using for my other things. Um, it might be an interesting look at uh, you know some CI CD stuff on GitLab. And uh, then finally, uh, open the report on. Whoops! Come on now. Open the bug report for Delta plugin. A couple minutes ago, I got an email. It looks like somebody beat me to it. Um, that's the error I got. So it might be worth chiming in on there. Um, not to pile on Benjamin, but you know, just add my two cents. Attempted to complain about the de silent deprecation of the argument that I used, but it's, I don't want to give Ben a hard time. I like him. I really, really like him. Um, run mlocks, update the plugin order. Something I would really, really like to do today, if only just as a demonstration. Um, Oh, hi. Thank you, Kyosten. 
Oh, I've been talking for some time. Three minutes, and it sounds like my audio is bad. Um, well, let's... <coughs> let's try and... Let's try and stop this. Yeah, so I am... Thank you. I appreciate it, Kausten, one of my IRL friends. Um, I can... I mean, I can see myself in OBS clipping, but if I turn my... Gain down too much. I have an idea. <coughs> All right. Let me know. Uh, hello, hello, hello. I hope that's a little better. Uh, so anyway, and then finally to end the show off, uh, I need to like start putting sound check into the list because it just happens every day. Um, maybe there's a way. I'm not an expert in Linux audio, but maybe there's a way to tell things to remember what I want or I don't know. I just need to do a better sound check. Although I did get uh, a feedback from Farmer and Lord XL yesterday about possible electrical interference. And uh, I think it might be related to how I have uh, a powered USB hub in the mix. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. Let me know then now. Um, if I'm too quiet, yikes. We're going to have to work around that. But yeah, how about it? Testing. Deploy the website as needed. I'm reading that line right there. Yay. <coughs> okay, well, let's close the to-do. Just looking at it kind of looking at the to-do list without the future to-do list. Today's to list actually seemingly the same. Okay. All right. Well. Let's see. So I don't have a noise gate. I do have a compressor. But I don't know, admittedly, what any of this does. Let's put this on the screen here so we can see what I'm looking at. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, Jake helped me with these a couple of streams ago, and I basically cargo culted his settings. Um, I wonder if this isn't the issue though. Mic aux. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, Stan. I'm gonna try something. And you let me know if the sound quality just goes to shit. Here we go. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello, hello. All right. Um so yeah, the the device names I'm getting in Pulse Audio are just useless. I have no idea what's what. Good. This is good. Oh, geez. And it's the different... It names the things differently each day. This is good. All right. Halitosis. Yes, I do have bad breath at the moment. I haven't brushed yet. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you so much for helping me with that. Um, so moving on. All right. Well, so the first thing, the first thing is, uh, Stan, I'm actually glad you're here because you're my win one of my Windows using friends. Uh, reshade, you know, lots of people use. I don't really know if it works on Linux. And if you did, ooh, yeah. I didn't say you use, oh, yeah, I did. Whoops. Well, you're going to get hacked anyway. Um, but, I mean, reshade, you know, I don't know if you use it. It's not really the point. But... Is it worth it maybe to put, so I have this on the website, I have this, uh, let's find it right here, my category. I have a shaders category here, and I wonder if stuff like um, reshade presets, like uh, what my friend demanufacturer87 could use some more gain. Oh, geez. Okay, so you know what I probably did yesterday is I probably turned off my Lewitt, and you were probably hearing me through... Who the hell knows what? <sighs> um, okay. Huh. It's interesting because... Do you hear me right now? Because OBS has nothing. Hello? Did I lose you guys? Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, I just turned the gain on my um, interface. I have a Scarlet 2i2 over here. Um... And I just turned the gain back up to like zero on that. So, uh, so yeah. So we have these going back to uh, reshade presets. 
we have I've never used reshade but um, you know as I understand it it's a thing you run on top of the thing you want to play open MW in this case and it does you know it, it reads the output somehow and it can apply shaders post-production Yay, okay, good. So yeah, I did something dumb yesterday. Holy smokes. So, okay, so for the record, I've got this. Anybody who's not familiar with Linux audio, you know, you just cannot understand the pain that <laughs> is trying to understand all this. But So I have these two inputs. Obviously, when you hear me talk, you can see the input here. But it's like, how do I know which one is my, is which? You know, it's just, wow. Anyway. Getting that rant out of the way. Uh, Kyle Sten says, I've never you liked Reshade with anything. Used it on PSOBB and it was sort of cool. Yeah, so I mean, I could definitely, like before OpenMW had built in post-processing framework, you know, um, I could certainly see the value of this. Um, so I think, I think that's a yes. I think we're going to put this on the website. Not right now. First things first, though, is the one easy thing I want to do, which is stream link on the website. So let's go there. And this is, as I recall, um, this is a static HTML file, but I forget the name of it now because um, I think I changed like the button label since I first made the website. Feedback? No, no. Subscribe? Okay, no. It has a logical file name. Zoom in for you here. Okay. Um going back to the website so that would be by the way if you're following along at home come to the main page here and I've got a uh, somewhere here subscribe like and subscribe um ah, and I have this yeah have a mailing list link at the as the very first <laughs> that's a little awkward actually I don't care I'm keeping it there but um the stream link is going to go above it Um, mm -hmm. feels kind of weird to type about myself in the third person but also you know the website is not I be really does a mm, each Okay, and then I'm just gonna plop a link in here for where you cats are. Oof, looking at myself on, on the delay on the stream makes me dizzy. And which exclamation point? You know, if you're a Seinfeld fan, you know what I mean. <clears throat> All right, cool. So that was a very, you know, that's a very easy change right here. And actually, let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and pop open the E shell. Um, actually, I don't need to reset to see this change. We'll spare ourselves the chug time. Pardon me, sniffing into the mic. And let's check it out. Huh? All right, this might get a little weird. I'm going to open the stream link. The website creator does a live coding stream each Saturday and Sunday. Check it out on Twitter. Oh my, that's not a link. What did I do? <laughs> you probably saw what I did if you were watching along at home, and I just didn't realize my typo. Oh, how dare you be back in a moment. You'll be hearing from me. Aha, that's a proper link. Very good. And brace yourselves. A little too wanky for my taste, even. That's acceptable. Okay. Lovely. Hmm. I have a bit of a dry mouth this morning. <clears throat> Just like that. Pretty easy. Just updating some HTML, which, you know, 
gets a bad rap, I think. HTML gets a bad rap. All right, so guess what? We get to check that off the website. And now the first thing I want to do, since this is going to be a bit of a... This is going to be something that takes some time. We're going to begin figuring out which mods are lumped into this. Get a list of them. Create legacy redirects and add the new mod, the graveyard mod, and refer to them appropriately. Okay, here we go. Um, so, to do to figure out which is which, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna when I open the site locally, so you can see 0 .0 .0, uh, colon 8666 means it's running on my local. And we can go back to eShell here, and you can see when I when I load it can see the little chatter there but it's a little slow it's running in a postgres database locally but it's a little slow i don't have caching or anything um so i'm just going to use the live website because it's fast i'm going to come back to you mr do manufacturer all right so um the first thing i'm going to try is simply mirrors. just doing a quick search okay um i'll put this over here Alcohol, I think we looked at yesterday, and we know for sure, is one of the ones. Ramirez Minor Retextures, is this a dead one too? Negative. Good, good. Escadian Isles Trees. Nope. Wouldn't think that one would be graveyarded, but you never know. This one, most likely. Mm-hmm. I don't think a lot of folks are too fond of these replacers. I can understand not loving like your prior work. When I look back to, at what I made 10 years ago, I'm a little embarrassed at how horrible the code is. I get that. Um, now I wonder now if I'm using the right, can I use this proper? You guys tell me if my popping is, you know, god awful. We use the right pop filter now. Um, so yeah, I can understand putting the, I totally, understand putting these in like a graveyard thing and trying to shell them and move forward to your new work. I can get that completely. Um, Clan Fear Replacer. Replacer. Yeah. That's another one. A lily pad replacer. Probably another one. I'm just going to jump the gun on it. Yep. No popping. Background static. Uh, you might maybe be picking up my, the fan on my laptop. Is It's going to shh. <clears throat> anyway, we'll just keep moving on. I hope it's not too unbearable. Grove of Benabi. Oh, no, I hope not this one. box replacer oh. okay and so ideally some of these are really good you know um, ideally we can find replacements for things that are more modern. Uh, if anybody has a suggestion, definitely reach out to me on Discord or via email, admin at modding-openmw.com. Um, I haven't really had time to like keep up with what's going on with Modathon this year, but uh, I absolutely want to try to do something. We'll see. Chris Amir, gone. Ice Blade of the Monarch. Guessing it's gone. Gone. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I mean, you know. That's a good amount. Uh, looks like we have 10 mods here that are, you know, no longer accessible directly. Um, 
We just need to... So the question is, uh, do we discontinue these or do we simply include usage notes that say, go to the files page, look for this file. I'm thinking we're going to do that. It's just better. Then we don't need to worry about creating, you know, redirects, that sort of thing. We just change the mod page and, uh, and add a helpful note. <laughs> I like SpongeBob stuff. Don't you? All right. Cool, cool. And... So, yeah, I suppose... Yeah, that's way better, I think, and simpler. Have just a smaller change. Okay. Uh, so... Let's try to do all the weapons. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Don't try this at home. LSP mode, it's great, but um, it does try to do a little bit much. And sometimes it throws me for a loop. Okay, uh, so what were we doing first here? Chris Amir, Chris Amir, PBR. And the new home for this is going to be this mod ID. Okay, um... It would be really nice to have like a minimum or a required OpenMW field on here, but at the same time, the complexity. I mean, it's another field and the mod database model, no big deal. I don't think that'll really hit performance too much, but then it's just the complexity of setting it and, and stuff, you know. Um, open to ideas if you're watching this and you feel like you can implement this in a way that won't, you know, be awful. Please talk to me. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to take this and make it a paragraph. I'm going to put this in a different paragraph. Um, and I will say now what to do, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, on the files page. doesn't seem that long ago, but in fact, it's like five years ago. Just over five years. It is 11.22 in my zone. Okay. Very good. And I'm going to do this just in a big, this is going to be a big diff. But I'm just going to do them all at once. And for posterity. Mm -hmm. Gonna take a guess that it's just these two. All right, good guess.
Lovely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. Lovely. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's bring uh, the E shell back up. Make set server. I'm going to take a sip. And let's pop open that plan doc. <clears throat> Back off the zoom a little bit. Okay. Um, so, yeah. and this sort of go together. And let's take a look at what we got. I don't think I have a <clears throat> I don't think I have a link to my local site here. No big deal. Breather time. is interesting. Maybe there's a way to move my cursor up there, but it didn't do it how I expected it to do. I digress. For some year. Download and extract the Chrysomir replacer file from web page. This page. I just had a thought, maybe I should link directly to the files tab. <clears throat> and that would require a slight change to my link function that will give the, the nexus mod function. But I think it would be worth it. Uh, you did not miss any reshade talk. I kind of moved on from that to do another kind of a bulk update. So don't you worry, my friend. Uh, I was just musing about uh, updating my Nexus mod generating uh, link generating code to include a link uh, option to link directly to the files tab. And um, then we'll skip that for now. But that's a... That's a good future thing, and I don't want to forget that idea. Okay, staying on topic. So, let's look at what we got here. Change log. All right, not much more to say, really. So I think we can we can go ahead and close this one. And Chrysomir is updated. All right. We can close that. And next up, I'm going to try to make sure we just do all the it is in order to provide this, do the weapons kind of first, so I don't have to bounce around files. Ice Blade of the Monarch. Okay. Hmm. hmm. All right. 
just trying to see how I can type as little as possible right to that end. What do we got here? A couple minutes have passed since then. Don't know what that name is uh, exactly, and I'm not going to guess. Oh, what did I just do there? Don't try this at home. All right. Let's go back to our local version of the website that has the new link. And let's see what we call it now. Oh, neat. That's unexpected. I don't even know if I know what that is. We don't need escapes there. Come on. Consistency. We'll quote the file name here. I don't need an escape. Okay. Um. And actually, now I ha I have to see what's here. You can see some chat GBT files here playing with that. Uh, with Farmer, who was part of the stream yesterday, trying to see, you know, what kind of shenanigans we can accomplish. It can kind of do guitar tabs. Not really. But kind of. It had never heard of Collective Soul. Give me a break, right? <sighs> um, let's download this OpenMW file and see what's inside. Uh, okay, no, I have the OpenMW file apparently already. Yeah, yeah, give it, please. Oh, wait. No, that's... What are you doing? Don't try this at home, kids. Okay, I don't want that. Guinea. Yeah, at one point, it seems like it's the same version, so I don't think I need to update my file. But okay, well, neat. Yeah, forgot. totally forgot there was an OpenMW option there, and I feel like it should say that on the website, eh? Mm. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is... Let's just keep it simple, shall we? In Ramiro's own words. I'm satisfied with that. Cool. Beautiful. Lovely. I love it. Crunch the website again. Again and again. And my life is just waiting for the database to fill up with garbage. And let's take a look. Let's poke up here at our diff. Stage it up. Some people hate this workflow and get, I don't know. I've learned to love it. Let's 
let's um, poke back at that set list as a friend called it yesterday they called it my set list I like that being a musician it makes me feel more cool I don't know okay and yeah next next up we can probably look at this um, since this is a lot of like you know kind of dry stuff that we're doing now we can look at the bug report for action camera swap this is actually a really really simple mod so I'm curious about what the conflict could be but it should be as simple as loading up the mod that was in the bug report along with this in my little minimal setup and then uh, you know apparently the mod just doesn't work and and we can go from there and sort of figure it out but uh yeah I think that'll be a good next thing a nice shift from this kind of super serious stuff dry editing work and then maybe we'll talk about reshade too uh, we'll see how I feel after this Uh, well, actually, no need to type, right? I should have a, a change log. Right, yeah. Good. Less is more. Good, good. Lovely. Perfect. I love it. Let's go ahead and now we got everything staged that we need to have staged. Good. I need to get like some package to remember my buffer layout a little bit better for Emacs. Um, what's next? Ice Blade. Done. Volendrung. HD. This is actually one I added somewhat recently. Good, another less is more one here. What is the oh, sorry, 36. Just moving right along. All right. But what file is that? spell all right sitting down today it's a sit down day I don't know about buying you guys you folks but uh, it's a sit down day uh, oh you know what we need to crunch the website my favorite ritual <clears throat> Ugh, a little stretch So while Volendrung is crunching for us to review, what do we got next? Puzzle box replace. So it looks like we got like lots of objects, clutter stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll move this one over here with uh, other objects, clutter, and we should be wrapping up, crunching that database any moment now. We can see at the bottom of the screen there. Purge the entire website, my friend. Just delete it all. RM-RF slash sudo. Nuke it. Nuke it, nuke it. Actually, since you mentioned it, we can... Uh, hi, farmer. <laughs> hey, man. Um, we can erase the server. We can blow away the entire server. Website's gone. 
and have it back and fully running in less than an hour. I have tested it. So there. Like worst case scenario, absolute worst case scenario. Um, and honestly, like my, my deploy code is, it's, it's shit. It's part of my wanting to kind of open source it is also like make it less shit, you know. Um, I mean, I wrote it. It's like the conundrum of it works. Don't you touch it. Um, you know, deploy code that I can just hit a button each time and it just does exactly what I need. And maybe it's hideous under the hood, but it works. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I mean, if it just it doesn't have to be beautiful. <clears throat> but I've learned a lot about... Um, things in that time and I feel like I could write some slightly more beautiful Ansible more concise better organized which would then result in a shorter deploy because uh, right now just the way it is I run the whole deploy each time like I don't need to check the nginx files every time I want to just update the database that's silly what are, we, what are you doing we can we can do better there um, because ultimately I want these deploys to run from GitLab CI and just the the less I burn through their CI compute time, you know, the better, in my opinion. So, all right. I mean, yeah, that's I'm happy with that. Let's go get the change log. Oh, good oak. Volendrung HD. Okay, well, that's the one. Okay, so we've done, by the way, out of 10... Three out of ten. Not too bad. Could be worse. Hello, Git. I wonder what it would be like if somebody made a really popular piece of software that was called, I don't know, Dum Dum. Or some like American pejorative that people outside the USA don't know. Okay. Putting that back up there. I don't know why. Some futile attempt to stay focused. Volendrung, gaunch. Dwemer, puzzle box replacer. Man, I love this one. It's so good. There you go. Look at that. How lovely. I do remember an OpenMW package for this one, so... Let's open the right file, shall we? Objects and clutter. Dwemer. Puzzle box, yeah, yeah. What's that link? So this is the kind of thing I feel like we can teach chat GPT how to do, right? Like, put the right link in there, you know? Like, this kind of stuff that makes my brain turn into jello. We could just make the large language model do it. Like my, my brain is over here and my hands are over here. Mm -mm. Okay, and it's eleven four two. That is the answer, of course. That's it. Okay. Um, let's see real quick, though. Is this one on anything else? Are these all just graphics replacers, pretty much. Some of them aren't used anymore. This one, yeah, started using fourth unknown. No big deal. Won't need a change log. This one, too, I think had a, a more modern one. What is it? Yeah, okay. This is the one we'll look at in a moment. All right. Uh, back on target. We need that change log. Oh, good old witch key down there. Don't mind that. Spam in my mini buffer there. Just fat fingered. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. I 
don't feel like we need to crunch the database every time just because it takes so much time, but I'm not going to close this tab until I check it. We'll maybe do the objects and clutter and then look at all three at once. Alcohol. so close all right go ahead and as a mentioning the plug and plug in listness of it I think is good does my clipboard hate this and Nexus just really doesn't want you to copy paste that they just really don't want you doing it less is more and might as well go with the creator's current description anyways. Why fight it? All right. Um, that one, of course, still in use. It is. That looks right. Let black do its thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should be the last unique. Yes. All right. We'll crunch away again. This is 
been a minute since this came out. rounding out the first hour already. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Hmm. I have a feeling there is a bit more of a concise Tell you what, we're just going to use that. And there is the question of should I be putting is active on all these? And I think the answer to that is definitely yes. Just occurred to me. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the weapons that I updated. And we can just kind of Chris uh, me, yeah. Ice blade, good. Volume. Already noted as such. Good job, me. And let's take a look. Oh, wait. Uh, is active there. Excellent. All right. Good, good, good. Hmm. Tell you what I didn't do. Don't try this at home. Learn to type before you do. What I didn't do was get a more The truth is I don't think this version is incompatible with OpenMW perhaps out of the box um but if you enable the feature that allows so-called bump maps to work it should make this work too will it look which will look better is the question hey gonzo thank you for tuning in glad to see you just doing some cleanup on romero stuff right now um probably about halfway through oh i don't want it to take up the whole stream go a little bit over um if uh, if we have to today it's rainy out i can't get anything done in the yard anyway um and i made a shorter to-do list with the goal of like a list that is actually completable is better than a giant one that makes your soul crushed. So we're doing that. Dwemer. And just talking about um, some of these graphical replacers. Uh, yeah. Thank you for noticing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I grew up listening to ska music. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones is one of the first bands that I ever listened to that was not Weird Al Yankovic or just whatever Greek music my dad happened to have playing, you know. Um, and actually, quick diversion, this shirt was from a concert that I went to in Boston. It was like one of their reunion shows um, I went to with one of my best friends who introduced me to the Boss Tones. And yeah, it was great. Uh, the Queers opened for them, and I actually saw Big D, a Big D and the Kids table, in line uh, behind me when we were waiting to get in. Um, and I had just finished playing Fallout 4, so it was really neat to go and see Boston after seeing it in the game uh, for the first time, you know. Um, really great. Go there if you are in the USA. Boston is just beautiful. We And we walked just everywhere. We walked the whole Freedom Trail, and it was really neat. So anyway, <laughs> thank you for mentioning that. And yeah, we'll go back to go back to work here now. We want to get a more concise 
description here because this is just too much plugless replacer. All right. Good. That's much better. That was just that's too much. All of this just too much. Less is more. Okay. Moving on. Good. 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 And then we have to find Okay, I goofed here too. Sheesh. Uh, I'm being honest. I may have to run to the restroom here in a moment because I was just drinking too much water, trying to stay hydrated. Um, what, am, what am I even doing here? I want to find the less is more. Yeah, just. Psh. I thought I put this in there. Oh, maybe I was think. Yeah, okay. And I just need to crunch the database. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to go use the restroom briefly in a moment here. So, close this. Close this. Close this. Close this. Now we got just three left. Great. Feels really good. Actually, with that, I am gonna go, and I will leave you with the warm, cozy fireplace while I go take care of that. Please allow me just a moment. kept warm there where's my face boo all right be gone come back get to work all right lily pad replacer Another really nice one. Usage note, of course. Sheesh. My touch typing, if you've been watching, is terrible. I try, though. Okay, yeah. That's basically the It's basically the same description. Rather than fight Nexus. Uh okay, and then we also want is active false on this one. Yeah, let's take a quick moment to review the diff here. Stage it. 
just stage it, stage it, stage it. We'll take we'll take a quick peek at that again later. Before I do the commit. Have a little shotgun self review there before I go ahead and click save while sweating. Uh, okay. Lily pad replacer. Same as all the other ones. Okay. Actually, is now is a good time to crunch. Stage them in chunks. Commit them all at once. Don't overload my puny brain. Okay, so I need to make a note, too. <laughs> I wasn't joking in the beginning there. Sound check. So it looks like Maluit, going through the focus right, is named Mike Ox from. Mike from? Who knows what that is? I have a hardware off switch on my laptop for the mic, and it is off. I have no idea what this input is. Um, so yeah, if I sounded like garbage yesterday, it's because I was running off of the mic and not the mic aux. Um, and my and my dry run was just flawed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, that's because I'm actually using my good condenser mic and and my um, interface. Which will improve, you know, uh, the sound overall. And so just remember that the mic aux from... Oop. Is the... Mental note for me, so I don't just fudge this every single time. We'll get it right one of these days. Okay. We're done crunching. I am somebody who doesn't like to keep a million tabs open, actually. If you know me already, you know this, probably. I'm looking at you, Lord Exhale. I, so yeah, I needed to do a little bit of, uh, let's do a little bit of cleanup. <clears throat> Let's go in the change log. 49 items, good. Looking good. Take me home. Looks good, okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Um, oh, and yeah, we have, we have that too, okay. All right, I'm satisfied. Okay, um, next up. Ebony Mail Replacer. This was a good, this is a good looking one. Hmm. I'll leave all this as is, but do as I did before and put that in a separate paragraph. So armor. Okay. What's he got over here anyway? Probably not that much. Ebony mail. Uh, yeah, we should, yeah. Put that in there. In the author's own words. Take all this, put it down below. It's not the most important thing we want folks to see. That would be 
the requirement of OpenMW version and the instruction on what to download. And then if we come back here. Oh, Nexus. I love you. I really do. This one actually is not used on any mod lists. We're looking at this guy now. Oh yeah, oh no. I love this one. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, you know, props to G-Vault. I, uh, let's do that, yeah. Okay. And it is, we're down to just one more. Wow, how exciting. Okay, um, doesn't need a changelog for this one, so just Ramiros Uniques. Um, here we go. Get that, yep. Excuse me. Oh, uh, Ebony Mail, that is. Um, Gonzo asks, is that what Umbra wears, or is that like a separate armor? No, uh, so I think Umbra is just wearing, in the vanilla game, I think Umbra wears orc, orcish armor. If you're using the Umbra Blade Master mod, there might be like a special variant of that. Um, Ebony Mail is something you get from, I believe, uh, temple quests, temple quests. Um, it is something you get from a quest line, a faction quest. Um, no, no ebony, no. And yeah, actually, the and despite the name, the ebony mail is not ebony. It's not even like stat wise like the ebony mail. Um, it's described in game as obviously being like a chain mail. That's why the one we just looked at is cool because it's making it consistent with how the game thinks it says it should be. You know, um, our favorite little quirk of the game. Say one thing, show you another. It's Morrowind. We love it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, Ebony Mail on UESP, the item. And and if you don't have that mod, get it. Okay, Ramirez Uniques. This one is in use by people. So we're going to go ahead and make a changelog for it. And this, this will be whew, the last... I was sort of dreading doing this change just because it's like a lot, you know, and a little, you know, well, you've seen what I'm doing here. This is just a little bit mind-numbing. But now, we can recrunch the website and review our work and save it. Run the tests. If we're good, then uh, we'll hold off on pushing it to GitLab because we'll queue up a few more things, but uh, run at least run the test locally. And let's inspect the dick w diff while it chugs. Mm -hmm. Sure, that looks good. Looks good. Oop. Great. All right. Now there are quite a few issues here um, on the OpenMW GitLab, modding OpenMW GitLab, regarding the various dead link, uh, dead mod links. So let's just take a quick look here. 
There has to be at least one or two, I would think. Hmm. New ones that came in uh, just yesterday, and we got a comment on this one from Roman. Hey, Roman. Lily pad, okay. This is related, possibly related. Ooh, let's go ahead and I'll do that later, actually, but we need to update this one and should be not an issue any longer. We took care of that. Fixed tests. Ugh. Gotta update that. Oh boy, more than I thought. Well, I'm going to try and put all these in the commit message that way. May Ruins Razor PBR. Okay, I didn't get that one. Hmm, let's. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why. So we're not done just yet. Something escaped. PBR, uh, Gonzo says, I didn't realize PBR was supported in OpenMW. In fact, it is not officially supported. Uh, various individuals, talented individuals, have implemented PBR in OpenMW, including Zester shaders, I believe, implement PBR. Kind of like a PBR that doesn't necessarily need special materials. Um, because, yeah, at the moment, Open I don't believe OpenMW Engine um, does the right thing, you know, uh, reads the materials and passes the right information to the shader. I'm not sure that it's fully supported, but uh, definitely Dexter, formerly known as Vitastic, and uh, Zesterer have been at least two. There was another individual um, that had been doing PBRifications of all the various replacers, actually from my website. I didn't, you know, I when I kind of dropped off for a little while, I stopped following their work. But yeah, they were they had done like a pretty good chunk of everything. So I would definitely love to see properly physically based rendering support. Uh, it's just such a you know, yeah, it's such a just chef kiss, you know, beautiful thing. It looks so good in every game, you know, like there are Switch games I have that use it. And it's like even though it's, you know, 720p on a 4K TV, it still looks awesome, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really uh, stoked to eventually get that into OpenMW officially. And, again, there are eyeballs on this problem for sure. So, oops. It's only it's only a matter of time before we get it. Ooh, I've got the OpenMW one here. I see. So first off, Flash. What am I? That's old, really. That's really old. I think at some point I did go through and replace all the Flash namings with Ramirez. I must have just missed those. Um, my bad. This is interesting. Okay, yeah. Now this one, I wonder, is that still there? An another one pops out of the weeds. Um, yeah. I'll be darned. For posterity. I'm not going to link that one to this one because this is just a different iteration of that mod. But what we are going to do, importantly, is we're going to say it's not active. And we're going to leave a note. 
saying that. It's hidden. There is no there is no replacement for this one because it's, you know. He's dead, Jim. I tell you, this second hour just like skates by. It really does. Okay. Um, I just remember it starts with the five. Dear clipboard, please take that. All right. Boom. I think this is definitely important to put there. Somebody might go in game expecting it. It looks super cool, but yeah, somebody might be expecting those weapon sheathing meshes, and they're just not. They don't exist. Um, all right, and then last but not least. Boom. Now let's take a, another look at our diff here. All right. Let's take it a step further, shall we? Oh, wait. Here's my terminal from yesterday. All right, let's do flash. What is the... Doing it old school. Blammo. Good, 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 good. I'll take it. And as is tradition... We'll crunch the database. And while it does it, we'll review the diff. Okay, so yeah. Some handle updates. I'm sure it might be annoying for Ramiros to have the old handle out there. My apologies. Okay. Looks good. Good. I wonder if these are not also inactive. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, now that's a mistake. Whoops. I clicked the wrong tab. Okay. Clan Fear Replacer. 
nice and easy. That's better. Stage that. Oh, yeah. Good call, Gonzo. Thank you for the buddy check. You're absolutely right. Yes, the he says, not the OpenMW version, and yeah, uh, that's tr that's very true. We we want that one, man. Forgetting how to use my own Git client here. Good catch. Thank you. Okay. This is good. 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 Wait a minute. I'm tripping myself out here. Hold up. Did I goof this one? Yeah, I sure did. Okay. Jumping the gun. No problem. Here's what we're going to do. Uh -huh. None of this is needed. Strike it. That's better. Unique jewelry. That's I knew there was some uniques in the mix here. I have to scan with my eyeballs and make sure I get this, that I get this, that I get this. And is in sight. Um, ooh. At some point I stopped. At some point I stopped making change log entries, though, I think. Or did I? No, I think I covered them all. Excuse me, we can look again. Hmm. So let's do that. Actually, I have to run again. I totally like crushed this LaCroix today. Excuse me, please, for just a moment. Talk amongst yourselves.
right. <laughs> yeah, you know it broke the seal. Uh, boo. I'm back. And we're back. So actually, just now on Discord, Johannes has said it might be worth mentioning for the next total overhaul graphics list update. And they link to this mod. And this is, I will just digress, and a great example of the really excellent support I get from the community. And just thank you to everybody. And this is a, a collection of stuff. Wow, so nice. There's so much here. 18 files. Wow. Neat. <laughs> We're going to have to put this on the to-do list, though. So let's do that. Use my document formatting. That is worthy of the abs emoji, I think. I would say so, yes. Okay, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, thank you, small. All right. Before we move too far on, basically done with these various Ramiros changes. This is going to go live today. That'll be really great. But we're going to try to check our work. This latest updates page is automatically crunched from the date added and or if it's there, the date updated field. So if I missed something in the change log, it would be here so long as I remembered, of course, to, you know, bump the time. Uh, I mean, that looks, that's 10 things. Looks pretty good. Um, and if I just mouse over each of these. This was one that got tacked on, though. Hmm. So something is missing. Something is missing. Let's take another quick look at this diff, shall we? Failing that. Ooh, but you know what? We're going to need to use my local slow version of the website. Okay. I'll call HD. Good. Sneaks. No need. No need. Uh, that seems very wrong. All right, we'll check you later. The download page for this. Oh, it's been removed. Okay. Very good. Mm. Found another. All right. No big deal.
twelve thirty. Oh my. This really took this really ate up quite a lot of time. I kind of expected that though. Just knowing what I know. Um tools uh, Shadow Mimicry now has a replacer for these. Not that these weren't great. They looked good. But the new ones by Shadow Mimicry are superb. Just superb. Mm, yeah, here we go again. Old, crusty old note section. Fighting Froggy says, hey, are we doing computer programming? Yeah, well, we're trying to. Welcome. You're looking at specifically some Python code right now. Tools of Kagranak. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's throw that into the diff soup. Quite the diff this is turned into, but, you know, again, I keep saying I knew it. All right. Oh, wait. Gonna make sure. Not active anymore. Uh, oh, and I also wanted to chop this off. Ooh. Don't try this at home. Sheesh. Chop that off. It's the author's own words, but I just keep it positive or neutral. pretty good to me. We're going to need to recrunch the database anyway. Let's get that going. Oh, there we go. Let's go back to GitLab now and see what issues this relates to. A fighting froggy says, how long since I did Hello World? Oh, man. I'm thinking. 15 years for me. I suppose my first Hello World, when I realized what Hello World was, was probably in Python. It was the first programming language that I was interested in and learning about because I saw a lot of cool things written in Python and I thought, well, you know, it's useful for to somebody. Wow, okay, yeah, there were a lot of these. A step 76. What is that even? Overall. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, lily pad replacer. So this one. Uh, 
Let's just go ahead and edit this. Good. Go ahead and slap my name on there. Yeah, 186. All right. Bloom linear. Nah, nah. Oh, okay. We'll have to help that person out. Thirty years since you dropped out of university doing a degree in software. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I didn't actually myself. I didn't go to university, um, but uh, you know, it's no reason to certainly, you know, as you're probably aware, no reason to just stop doing coding, right? It's kind of a reason to do more. You got more free time, maybe. Chris Mayer, PBR. Thank you so much, JJ Nova. By the way, if you're out there. Thank you. Thank you for all the time you put into uh, to file these issues for me. Thank you. Already covered that one. Cool. Um, geez, I'm losing track of where I was. 38, 87. And again, I'm doing this. I'm even caring to do this just so I can get the nice link on the GitLab user interface, really. Um, also fixed, but not by this one. Okay, well, I'm satisfied with that commit message. Writing fiction. Wow, cool. Awesome. Um, I am basically self-taught I can't say that though because I've worked with so many people through the years who were patient with me and mentored me um and I leveled up because of them so yeah you know I mean it was my own self that kind of pushed me to get good as it as they say um but I owe it to a lot of people out there so mad respect to all y'all all right let's crunch the website one more time just because I forgot if I've done anything in the, well, no, should be good to look at. And I just want to look at the change log um, and the updates, the latest updates. Okay. 15, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Whoops. Am I time traveling? No. That's some fiction for you right there. We can have the time traveling code. Are you interested, by the way, are you, so you write fiction, are you interested in games or Morrowind at all? Or I feel like the fiction in Morrowind and the lore can inspire so much cool stuff. Oh, thank you. Respect to you as well. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and fix that. Gonna give it a good rebase here. Don't worry. That message isn't going into the history. Ah, it's gone. Nice, nice, awesome. Yeah, I played Oblivion more recently than I played Morrowind, actually. Blasphemy, I know. Um cool. Well. Man, when I look at it like this, it feels like a busy morning. Not too bad. Yeah, was that where... Excellent question, Gonzo. Thank you. Um, Foggy, was this your first Morrowind playthrough? Are you new to the game? It sounds like you might be a bit of an old-timer like myself, so... Maybe you played it when it first came out. Like I did. Ch 
Check it off. Yeah, well, okay. Tell you what. We're going to do this. Tick it off. Yeah. Cool. Tick that off. 30% done. Woo, yeah. 20 minutes left, though. Doubt we're going to get to all this stuff. Still need to make the list shorter, obviously. Um, but... We'll do what we can next. I want to look at this, though. We're going to end the day with some Lua. Does that sound all right to you folks? You completed Morrowind. Awesome. You like the colors. And and so was it your first time through the game, actually? And, uh, you know, how heavily did you mod it? Were you, like, mostly vanilla or, you know? Oh, yeah, the... the <laughs> So we have the we have the old Morrowind strategy guide. Maybe I'll bring it down here for the next stream and kind of thumb through it. But I still have it. I still have like post-it notes that I put on it. Xbox version. Wow. Cool. So you played that, I guess, on like an Xbox One or something like that, a Series X or something. I know people are doing that. I mean, that's great. The first time I played Morrowind was on an Xbox. Absolutely. Um I was a fan growing up of JRPGs, Final Fantasies and stuff. I was new to computer RPGs, that kind of a thing, and um, played Morrowind because a friend of mine says, you know, this is you like RPGs, you're going to love this game. And so I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I was a bit of a PlayStation fanboy, embarrassed to say, but I was open-minded to checking the Xbox. Knights of the Old Republic was coming and looked amazing. Played Morrowind, started character, got killed by a rat. Hated it. Maybe some of you are familiar with that scenario. And then just for whatever reason, you know, I tried to play the game again, give it another chance. You know, I just wanted to come back for whatever reason, and I did. And uh, managed to learn how to kill a rat, managed to learn how to actually level and, uh, you know, advance in the game. And then the rest is history. You know, I ended up beating the Game of the Year edition on Xbox. Definitely beat Tribunal, too. I'm not sure if I beat Blood Moon on there. Um... And yeah, I mean, you know, it was a great experience. And then when I built my first PC a couple years later, got the the disc game of the year set, three discs, um, which I may still have somewhere. I'll try to dig that up. But yeah, anyway, so very cool. Yeah. Oh, everybody loves cliff racers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Foggy says, one thing is those wing raptors are really obnoxious. And oh, yeah. Um, you might be interested to know, actually, when you finally jump in and check out Morrowind on PC, you might be interested to know that there's a, a wonderful mod that actually will, when you kill one of them, it will spawn two more. So if you thought they were obnoxious by default. <laughs> uh, it's a fun joke mod. I admittedly have never played it, but. Uh, with it but okay all right well <laughs> yeah no I'm with you like I said I never I won't put my money where my mouth is on that one will not do all right well I'm pretty I've spent over an hour on this Ramirez change I'm not going to put any more mental energy into it we're just going to move on but before I do that we're going to do a quick run of the tests and then from the test, we'll jump into some quick Lua. We're going to run the game. Uh, let's actually go there right now. Let's take a look at this bug report that we've got for the game. Some poor soul was trying to use Action Camera Swap, which is a Lua mod that I've written for OpenMW, inspired by somebody on Discord who asked, I think if it was possible to do essentially what this mod does, um, which for posterity, if you're not familiar with this, it will change the camera automatically when you ready a weapon. Or if you go inside, I move. I uh, later uh, included the feature to make it first person optionally all the time inside. You know, personally playing with the mod, I felt like I wanted that, so I put it in there. Um, and this poor person here, let's find them. Thank you so much for trying my mod. I am humbled. Can't make it work. All right. 
settings windows present. So this tells me at least that they have installed the mod correctly, which is good. Go and let them know that I'm doing something about this. Uh, so they've told me a couple important things here. None of this should matter, but it's really good to know. This is very important. So let's go ahead. SFG minimal performance. Let's go ahead and just disable this other stuff that I'm playing with. And what we're going to do now, we're going to run my mod, my auto camera mod, with Soltha, the mod in question, Soltha's mod. And we can also see here quickly the tests pass. Yippee. All right. So we're safe to push. Let's go my, yeah. Push him up there. So long. All right. And let's get this mod. So one thing I need to know as we do some tab bankruptcy here. Bear with me here. I want to do some issue cleanup following the stream, I think. It's a little boring to do on camera. Uh, and I did want to comment on here after the stream, but importantly, I know Sothis recently compiled their mod collection into one, but I don't know if this is included. Oh, yeah. Bow, aim, activate absolutely is included in the combat pack. So let's, let's skip just using it individually because we're recommending folks to use the combat pack now. Okay. actually put this into my e-shell buffer. And we run the game. So the expectation here is, <laughs> as my speaker deafens me, let's get that under wraps. Okay, the expectation here is that the action camera swap mod does not work. Seems like it's working. Yeah, okay, looks good. So maybe there's something else afoot here. And just for posterity, we have the, um, the mod in question, bow aim activate. It's right here, it's definitely part of the collection. And uh, in fact, I happen to have a, a bow on me right now. Let's go ahead and see it in action here. Oops. Hmm, okay. So this is interesting. You might notice the red text in the lower right-hand corner of the screen there. That's no good. On update failed. Compare number with Boolean. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so... Thank you, yeah. Th thank you, Foggy. So this is my, my laptop currently is a Intel 12th gen, which is great for coding, great for compiling. I can compile Linux kernel in 25 minutes. The integrated graphics card, not so much. Um, in a future stream, I'm gonna rig up my actual gaming rig, stream from there, and we can have the game uh, run not at a slideshow. So my apologies about the slideshow quality there. Um, but yeah, we have a what looks like a bug in Sotha's mod here. And uh, I don't know if it's a conflict between mine and theirs, or if it's just a bug bug. Let's go ahead and rule out a conflict real quick, but uh, obviously that's unexpected. 
And so this tells me that there more than likely may be a difference between the grouped together combat pack and the individual bow aim mod, but you know, we gotta rule that out first. So I think all I need to do is just draw a bow. Again, apologies about the potato quality. Okay. Yeah, my actual gaming rig, rig has a AMD graphics card from 2020. It's not exactly hot nowadays, but it'll get the job done. Oof. Okay, yeah. So there we go again with the with the bug. Okay, so it has nothing to do with action camera swap. So now we need to get the individual mod. So let's go here to the combat folder. I'm going to just group it with uh, with the other Sotha mod. And let's give it a try. And so, Foggy, what I'm doing right now is uh, when you play Morrowind with OpenMW, you have a config file. That'd be this thing on the left side of the screen here. And when you want to add a mod, you simply put it into a folder. And then you add a line like this that points to it. And if it has a plugin or something, uh, you put a line like this. There is a graphical launcher uh, that can do this for you as well. I like text files. I'm weird. So that's what you're looking at right now, though. All right. So we got bow aim activate standalone. Just like the issue reporter, the text never lies. That is true, Gonzo. Thank you. Yeah. No, I don't blame you, uh, Foggy. Just describing their their gaming preferences, and yeah, I don't blame you. I got a Nintendo Switch. I bought a Steam Deck, which is basically a console. It's a Linux box, well disguised as a console. You know, I definitely hear you. Um, PC gaming, I actually have accepted that since I got the Steam Deck, I don't really need a new graphics card for a while. You know, I mean, I just love it so much. I'm not playing everything at top quality, but I don't know. So I feel you. I feel you. All right, let's. Uh, so let's see. We have a similar loadout to the issue reporter. Action Hammer Squap looks to be working. Ready a spell. Ready my fists. Yeah, okay. Can't beat that portability. No, sir. The best is playing Steam Deck on my deck. Sorry, I could not resist. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself now. Oh, the mod looks like it's working. Um... But does Sotha's mod have this bug? And is this something like, did the OpenMW API change? 0.48 isn't really released yet, so I mean it's fe it's you know it's possible. Turn off and resume killer feature. You got it, farmer. I mean it's like, you know I'm I'm old school. I love playing Super Nintendo games, and like despite the fact that Mr. FPGA plays Super Nintendo games way better in my opinion than I don't know what it is. I'm not going to go into the details right now. I just, man, I want to play it on Steam Deck because I can, like, dock it. I could take it in bed. I could take it, you know, out back. So this is weird. No error. But I also didn't really get a zoom. And so just uh, for posterity, Foggy, uh, in OpenMW, um, there is a more, a different scripting language that we use uh, instead of the default modding language for Morrowind. And uh, you can create like settings for the mods. And that's what we're looking at here. So um, yeah, exactly. I hear you, Farmer. 
it's easy to just kind of turn it on and get going, you know. Actually, I played on my mister while I was just messing around, making sure my controllers were charged. Played the NES Mario Brothers, and it, it was remarkable to me how you can start the game and be playing it within, like, five seconds. Uh, kind of a tangent here. Okay, so, I mean, it's on. Include throwing weapons. That was a question I struggled with for Marksman's Eye, and Sothos has widely, wisely made it an option. That's really great. Well, let's like make this a, just a way bigger number. How about zoom fatigue? Something that I'm definitely going to notice. No, 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 no. I want 10 there. All right. I mean, so the mod is on. It's working. I'm not seeing what the issue reporter reported, so I wonder if they have something else in their load order. But I am seeing a problem with Sothis stuff, so I guess I need to follow up with them. Follow up with the issue reporter uh, and see maybe if they have something else in their load order that interferes. Something else that's worth doing, I think, is um, so foggy. I uh, What I'm working on here is the source code for this website, modding-openmw.com, if you're not familiar. And it's uh, just a knowledge repository on playing Morrowind with OpenMW. And that's what we're doing here. And... Um, that's what all this is related to, and, and this is a project I've had ongoing since, I think, 2016. Um, but I digress. Let's just say I totally lost track of what I was going to do. So we took a look at that, checking it off. It's not solved, but i got to follow up. Going to do that after the stream. Um, and I think for next week, uh, well, let's let's round this out since i got a couple more people here that might be able to provide some feedback. Sten, wake up. Are you there? I don't know how many folks out there using Windows or are familiar with Reshade at all, um, but I've gotten a lot of feedback about folks using Reshade with OpenMW. Going back to before OpenMW natively supported post-processing shaders. And I'm wondering if it's, uh, you know, I'm wondering if it's worthwhile to, to put these in our shaders category so that folks can use them if they want. Um, <laughs> Sten. Awesome, Foggy. That's, wow. Way before my time. Actually, I didn't have a computer growing up. I had a, my, uh, I had a household. My dad correctly assumed that I just wanted a computer to play video games, so we never got one. He wasn't wrong, of course. I just want to play Diablo. Um, Gonzo, thank you. Reshade page, if there's some good presets. I feel like the manufacturer here is just... <laughs> so so I don't know feed me back about Kyle Sten says I'm listening feed me back about reshade um, I think Gonzo has pretty much sold me though here you know um, <laughs> cool. yeah. I mean who doesn't want to play video games that's why we're that's why I'm here right now playing video games on a computer yeah yeah you nailed it okay <laughs> very cool so so anyway I feel like uh, D manufacturer is kind of leading the charge on you know, running OpenMW with Reshade. Um, I don't play on Windows. I have Windows on my rig, uh, but like, you know, limited hard drive port space forces me to keep it unplugged. But I mean, in a pinch, I can plug it in and use it. But, you know, I don't know. If you're not familiar, Linux folks like me, us savages, we can, um, yeah, he just posted it. Gonzo says this is brand new. Yeah, he just posted it in there earlier today and like right as I was beginning the stream or a little before. Um but if you're not familiar, uh, you know, us Linux using heathens, we need to use something called Wine to run Windows programs, which generally is really good, especially since Valve has been really, like, helping out. Um, but I don't know. Does Reshade work with Wine? Does that mean you would need to then run OpenMW with Wine? Which I understand actually kind of works okay. I'm v having a vague recollection of somebody coming onto Discord and telling me about this before, that they ran OpenMW with Wine, OpenMW with Wine. They ran Reshade with Wine, and everything was great. Personally, I think it, you know, I have no objection, actually, to Wine. I, shameless plug, but I have actually written a tool to wrap Wine 
um, and make it easier. If you're familiar with Lutris, this is like a command line alternative to Lutris. I have no objection to Wine whatsoever. I actually show you how to run Morrowind with Wine right here. Um, but I feel like when you start talking about reshade, it gets potentially a little spicy. Maybe it's worth trying. I don't know. Maybe in a future stream we should just do that, you know, um, when I get my gaming rig set up and we can run OpenMW with Wine and and upset the gods of Linux, you know, run the Windows OpenMW with that. <laughs> I don't know. So, okay, well, we're, de we're definitely doing this then in the shaders category, no question mark. I don't think it's Windows only. Not really worth saying there. Um, we're doing it next week then. So, um, wow. What do you know? Uh, that is time for today. And I just want to thank everybody for joining. Everybody who's watching after the fact. Um, and yeah, you know, going forward to next week, I want to try and keep the to-do list a little bit more reasonable. We're definitely going to include this. We're going to include this, this. And then I think I'm going to move these all as stretch goals to the to-do list Maybe I'll keep these two on because these actually won't be... I really wanted to do this today, but it's not important. Um, those will be doable. Um, ooh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I feel... I definitely... You'll probably have to have... Um, so what I found with Windows and Linux... So Foggy is describing their experience having uh, Windows and Linux side by side. The Grub bootloader is sort of taken over, it sounds like. Usually what happens for me is when Windows updates itself, it like erases Grub and I can't boot into Linux, so I like have the opposite problem. Maybe try updating Windows if you can. Um, although you had it on a, a different partition, it sounds like. I have a setup where I have Windows on disk A and Linux on disk B. Um, I don't know, man. I hate computers. Oh, wait, but before we say goodbye, let's update the website, shall we? Let's kick it off. Um, and again, so what you're looking at here is basically my, my deploy tooling. I have to unlock a password with a GPG decrypt. This is my Ansible-based deploy tooling that basically can take an empty server that is just running Debian Linux and make it suitable for running the modding OpenMW.com website in its entirety, um, which is a Python Django app backed by UWSGI behind an Nginx web server and a, having a Postgres SQL database. And so this is, Ansible is written in Python, but you don't typically write Python to use Ansible. It's typically just YAML, which may make your skin crawl. Believe me, mine's crawling right now. But it's pretty effective, I will say. Um, it doesn't solve every problem in the space of configuring you know, configuration management as it's called, but it's pretty good. I've used Ansible for nine years as my pr personal configuration management tool. Everything I got out there on the server is set up with Ansible um, for my own benefit and also for my own education. You know, um, you, I learn things by just using them. And it, certainly Ansible is very useful. Um, so that's what you're seeing here, all these things chugging away. Um, and we have sort of three grades of the website. I typically push things off to the beta website, beta.moddingopenmw.com first. Uh, lately, though, I've just been kind of cowboying it, and we're pushing it all out to all of them at once. I'm really confident in the changes that we made today, though. Um, so anyway, to wrap things up, uh, we've got some stuff to go over next week that I think will take less time than the... Uh, Ramirez clean up here, but I'm really glad to have that out of the way. We'll confuse people a little bit less, my poor innocent visitors. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining again. Foggy is very pleased to meet you, and I hope to see you again. And certainly uh, in my profile, we've got a Discord link to the OpenMW Discord channel. Please hop in and say hello. Uh, and you guys have a great day, and I will see you next week.